everyone, start of another week with me and um, what a week we've just seen and been through what we've witnessed um, in the news on our TV screens. I'm sure you've had those feelings of anger welling up, of wanting to do something. And it got me thinking about how does our faith speak into this? And the Bible has so much to say about being people of peace, of justice, and above all, people of love. So this is about our discipleship, about how we ourselves follow Christ, about how we stand up for others, about how we make a difference and are more Christ-like ourselves. In Matthew 22, beginning at verse 34, we have these words. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Jesus quite clearly responding, saying that everything, all the law, everything the prophets have spoken, everything hangs on these two commandments, to love God and to love our neighbour. And it's down to each of us to put that into practice in our daily lives and to pray as people of peace, as followers of Christ in this world today. The prophet Micah says, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. And then familiar words that Paul writes in Romans 12 that in the Beckles churches we've looked at recently. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. May we as individuals, as churches, as the people of God in this place, always strive to be people that hate what is evil and cling to what is good and may the love that we express be true be sincere take care have a great week stay safe bless you Just a couple of things to update you on. Um, there may be some lifting of um, the guidance and rules allowing us to enter buildings again, our church buildings. Um, it's early days, we, we've got all sorts of things we need to do and put in place before we can do that. Um, so towards the end of this week, I'll be working with the church wardens on how we can implement whatever it is um, we're allowed to do as soon as possible for some of our church buildings so just keep an eye on our website and our Facebook page and we will put updates on there. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who took part in the quiz that we sent out um, and a special vote of thanks to Molly Martin for organising that and heading it up. Um, well done to all those um, who came in the top three um, you, you've been notified and uh, Molly sent answer sheets out to those that took part. The quiz raised £1,000 for our parishes and I'm just, I'm just so thankful um, for all who have given so generously um, to support um, the mission and ministry of our churches. So thank you and thanks again to Molly for organising that. Your servants are listening.